So Remy and I just got to Stoughton St. Park. Tomorrow night, supposed to get to mid-teens. So we're headed out to the Payne Creek Trail, the Payne Creek McGurdy Trailhead. There's actually not a sign here. I think it'll be a good hike. Uh, and we are gonna take the Payne Gulch. So far, pretty uneventful hike. All right, so my camera just died. So we're using the handy dandy iPhone SE. Awesome. Yeah, so 9,900 feet elevation. It was a really tough climb. For that amount of elevation and that amount of time, I probably would have rather climbed a 14er versus this. But this is really just kind of more of a through hiking type trail. So it does connect to the Colorado Trail and is part of the Lost Creek Wilderness Loop, which is 30 miles. And I definitely was not going to do that. But... Um, we're just going to turn around because it's just a bunch of aspen that have already lost their leaves. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. This would be a good spot to camp. Um, you're pretty well sheltered with the trees and there's lots of flat spots. So, um, this one definitely though, if you have a dog, bring extra water. The only water source I saw was at a creek about three miles in. Um, and so you're going to need to bring extra water um, and make that haul to the top if you camp here. I'm living right here and now and I don't want to miss out Is this what life's all about? The world is calling and I'm listening Yeah, I'm listening I feel the freedom inside, come on, let's go for a ride I finally open my eyes and I can see it so We're just stopping for our lunch break and on his menu today is pedigree, twist cuts and gravy, filet mignon flavor, as well as a fake beef rib bone and some chicken glucosamine treats. So what do you say, Remy? Ready? Ready? Yeah. And on my menu today is albacore tuna with some buffalo sauce and some mayo. I actually usually ask for extra mayo at Chick-fil-A when I go so I can have it for my backpacking meals. Oh, and I forgot crushed Ritz crackers, um, but they fell on the ground, which is how they got crushed. So I forgot my spoon to actually eat my lunch. Um, Definitely not the first time I've done that. So instead, we're gonna go heavy snacks with Ritz peanut butter crackers, the Heather's Choice Packaroon black espresso, and some crystallized ginger. Sharing is caring. So back at camp and tonight I decided to get pretty much all ready for bed before it got to below freezing because um, it's just much nicer to get changed and wiped down when your wipes aren't actually frozen. Um, but tonight we're going to try the Heather's Choice grass-fed bison chili. I added some beef broth to it and a little bit of sour cream powder just um, cause that's why I usually like my chili. So we'll see how it tastes. Here is what the bison chili looks like. Probably added more water than I needed to, but I also had the bone broth in there. Okay, first bite. 
Mm. I don't think I let it hydrate enough. <laughs> All right, we'll try this again in a couple minutes. So we're gonna try our second bite. Um, as the sun is setting, it's a really nice evening right now. It looks like I'm more bundled up than I should be, but just getting ready. So second bite. Tastes good. Not too overdone too. I like it. Hey Remy, what are you doing? Just hanging out? Hanging out underneath the rain fly while I take down the camp? All right, so Remy and I woke up at about seven. Um, they said the snow was gonna start coming in 30% chance at 10. I don't know if you can see behind me in the window, but clearly it started snowing about 7.30. Took us about an hour to get everything picked up. Um, and the temperature says nine degrees outside, so definitely really cold. Um, so that was our goal is just to get out of here as soon as possible and head on home. So anyways, we made it through the night and survived a start of what looks like to be a pretty big snowfall in Colorado. Fantastic land of snow 